Hey guys, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to bring you the uh, steps of flashing Lineage OS to the Samsung Tab S2. This is the Samsung Tab S2 if you take a look at it. Samsung Tab S2. Uh, this is an 8 inch model. So what happened here is the um, I'm actually running some experiments on this. So I'm actually trying to run this um, tablet without any Google services. But so far, I mean like it's okay, I can use all my stuff without the Google services installed and stuff like that But ultimately, I'm not going to do that uh, with this video I'm just going to show you how to flash the initial OS And logically flash the smallest um, possible package for the GApps Which is the Pico package Just enough for your Play Store and some other stuff, right? So ultimately, that depends on your selection, what you want to do So without further ado, let's just get on with the steps of flashing the initial OS 15 Point one into your Samsung Tab S2, uh, 8 inch by the way. Yeah, let's go. Okay, before we start, like what I said, if you are using the um, stock ROM, so what you need to do is to enable uh, what you call it developer option. So, logically, normally what we do is about tablet, then you look for the uh, where is the build number? Okay, so I need to key in my pin first. Okay, so once you have enabled developer options, so it should be here, developer options. Uh, nope, developer options. So you need to enable USB debugging. Uh, wait, ah, let me just take a look at it. Android debugging. And there should be allow, allow OEM unlock, but this is already unlocked, so this one doesn't have. So if you are using the um, stock one, there should be another options for you to allow OEM unlock so where you need to check that as well so once you have done with that we will need to actually move on to download some tools uh, start off the thing well first of all you will need to download the uh, Heimdall suite so if you go to, you go here to download the uh, Heimdall for Linux uh, OS X or Windows so this is needed for you to connect to the download mode itself to actually unlock your tablet so ultimately um, download this tool now and um, and you can actually go into the command line later on to check whether the uh, Heimdall is uh, running properly so um, you can do a CMD CMD uh, so this one is an F H -E -I -L -L Galaxy the Heimdall suite uh, H E I M D L dash version so version 1.41 right so ultimately if you have issues uh doing doing the Heimdall version thing then make sure you have the uh Visual C++ plus plus uh distribute <coughs> redistributable download and install that will help you to do that so once you have this two done and installed we um set to move on to the next step so these are the stuff that you need to download if you look at it um your iDime suit, your Lineage OS, OpenGF, CWRP, and this is the stock ROM. But I haven't actually go through the steps of actually restoring your tablet back to stock ROM. But um, I'll make a video of that. So, okay, let's move on to the uh, CA deck. Yes, um, you can actually go to Heimdall suit drivers. And you take, uh, so you can just launch this thing and go to options, list all devices. Then you should be able to see all the devices here. So ultimately, it's just a few. It's MSM uh, 8952 or your um, Gadget Zero Control or PCM stuff, right? So normally what you choose is, is this one. So what you need to do is just to replace the driver that it's available, right? So you just click on Play Driver. They will be installing a new driver. And once that is done, you can move on to the step where you... Okay, once it's done, you can close it. Close it. And you move on to the next step. Okay, so once you have the uh, <clears throat> drivers installed, everything done, so what you need to do next is to go to Heimdall, then do a print dash pit. This uh, action will actually, if your tablet get rebooted, means everything is successfully done. So this is basically to unlock your device. So you basically will be, you'll see all the stuff that's running, then at the end of the session, if everything is okay, your device will get rebooted. So when your device get rebooted, it means that it's already unlocked. So if you have issues, 
doing this, please make sure your OEM unlock and、uh, all the settings is done in your developer options, and we run this process again. Okay, the next step is basically to install custom recovery. As you can see, you can download the custom recovery from here. Once downloaded, you should be able to actually do.、Uh, you need to boot your device in download mode first as well. So make sure the device is boot into download mode. Okay, once you've downloaded tools, let me show you how to get into download mode. So, firstly, you need to turn off your power off your device first. So once your device is powered off, so the next thing you will need to do. Is to、uh, press three button. Actually, it's the home, volume, volume down, and then the power together. So normally, what I do is、uh, you take a look at it. Home, volume down, and home, volume down, and power. So once get booted, as you can see, this is the、um, download mode. So you will need to accept the、um, warning. So you just press volume up to continue. And there you are. There you are in download mode. Okay, so once your device is booted into download mode, so what can you do now is to actually、uh, connect the device to your PC. So what you're gonna do here is make sure that you have the TWRP copied to your Hamdel suit directory.、Uh, like here, I have a TWRP installed. So normally, what we'll do is do a Hamdel、uh, Hamdel flash、uh, dash dash recovery. Then you go to TWRP dash dash no no reboot. Okay, so once that is done,、um, there's a tricky part. Basically, is to boot this thing into the、um, recovery mode. By pressing the volume、uh, up button as well as the power button, but the problem now we are in download mode. So what you need to do now is to reset machine.、Uh, I mean, like reboot the machine without going through the、uh, let it boot up because it might actually、uh, clear off the reco the recovery that you have just、um, flashed in. So normally, what we do with this, let me just show you. Right. Okay, for you to boot into recovery after you flash your、uh, recovery, so the hard part, the tricky part, is to actually boot in straight after the download mode. So what you need to do now is to restart the、uh, tablet and switch to reboot to recovery as soon as possible. So what you need to do is one thing. So when for us to force restart the Tab S2 is that you need to press volume down and、uh, power button. So once you see a black screen, you need to press. Home button, volume up, and power button in order to reboot into recovery. So let's just start off with it. So normally, what you do is to do a volume down and power button. So once it get a black screen, you do a the other way. So you do the other way to boot into recovery. Okay, so we are now in recovery. So in recovery mode itself, logically, what we need to do now is to actually flash the、uh, lineage. So that's why I said we don't have anything now here, so we can wipe off everything.、Uh, you need to actually wipe off everything、um, and do a ADB push the image file into the、uh, recovery for you to install the rest of the subs. Okay, first of all, make sure that you have everything backed up. So the first step into this will be to wipe. So basically, you will do a wipe to do a factory reset for the first one. Right, just format data and stuff. Right, so, so just do a factory reset. So once you're done with that,、uh, then you'll do advanced wipe. So for this one, you basically will wipe cache and system partition. Right, cache, system, hard、uh, cache, and cache partition. Right. So just、uh, do a wipe for this as well. So after this, everything will be gone. So when you have done the wiping, then the next step is actually to push the. Um, the Linux OS as well as the GApps or whatever stuff you want to do back into the、um, system itself. So, so normally once you have done with all the wipe, you can connect your tablet back to the PC, and we'll go to the rest of the process. Okay, the next thing is to download the Linux OS、uh, for the Tab S2 as well as the GApps Pico. I normally choose the smallest、uh, 
package as possible because I don't, don't want so much bloated G app stuff and Google stuff onto in my tablet itself. So once you have downloaded this tool, of course the next thing you need to do is to download minimal ADV and fast boot. That is what you need to do the um what do you call that? To do the I think Hamda stuff is left to do the flashing. So so once you are in TWRB recovery, what you need to do now is to go minimal. So once you install, you should have this thing here. Then go to F, which is where I store my. Okay, so once you navigate to this, you should be able to see that uh, you have all the uh, packages here available. The device is connected, so you needs to be an ADB. So we do ADB devices to ensure your device is connected. So daemon is start running and all those stuff. Uh, so it's there, recovery. So, so what you need to do now is to push the um, the niche installation package. So normally what you do, you do ADB push the niche slash SD card to the default directory, right? SD card. So this will take a while to push. Once you've pushed this, you can move on with the pushing the GFs as well. Then after that, all the rest of the setup process will be on the tablet itself. So let's just wait for the things to finish. Okay, so once that is pushed, the next thing you can do will be uh, ADB push um, GFs. Uh, open GFs, uh, ADB push open GFs. Ah, and this call open jabs to oh yeah, slash sd card so once you have do two files pushed in you are more or less done so once you have that done your part in the computer is done and we moved on to the tablet for the rest of the setup oh yeah, unlocked okay so once you have everything in so the next thing you do is to press install if you look at sd card you should have two files that get pushed in so first thing that you want to install you can install it together but uh, normally i would rather do it separately just in case there's some issues so first of all you install the lineage right then you just do a confirm flash okay so once that is done you can move down to open gaps one more just do a swipe to confirm flash That is done now. So we have all the things. You can wipe cache or wipe Delvic cache if you want to, or we can just go back to the uh, the main the main set and do a reboot and do a reboot system and do not install. And let's just wait for the boot to complete. Then we will have Linux OS 15.1 on the tablet itself. Um, here you go. The Linux OS get booted. And you actually start out with the GApp stuff. You can do a start. Um, yeah, just press on start. I think you have a bit of lag, so you can connect to Wi-Fi wi -Fi, wi -Fi network. Okay, let's just connect. Okay, so once you connected, they will be going through the check for updates stuff and stuff like that. So we'll just wait for it to. Okay, on the previous screen checking for updates, it might actually just get hold for a while. Then just press on any other button to make it goes. So that one's the fresh start and just wait for it to complete in just a second, checking in full. So this normally will ask you whether you are logged into your Google account. So for now we can skip it first. Uh, skip. So your name and stuff, so next. Unlock, I can skip it first for now also. So you can turn off all this stuff if you don't need it uh, for now. So just turn it on, off, all off, then just accept it and just move on to the last features uh help improve okay uh, then next um then start so there you have lineage os 18.1 on your on your what do you call it a bit brighter 18.1 on your tab s2 so if you look at it on your system about tablet um, if you take a look at it the SMT13 the model might give it different from um, what you have I mean in terms of on the model itself but it works so you can ignore this so it's Android 8.1 if you look at it um, the nature OS version and stuff you have it as a January security patch and uh, if there is a Linux OH update I don't know whether there is uh, there is two of them this image is a bit low so you can actually download it 
and do an update for that okay um that's all i have for today guys so this is the video on how you actually flash lineage os to your um, samsung galaxy tab s2 so this for 8 inch model i think they have um rom for the 9.7 inch as well so um that's all i have for today if you have any question please leave a comments down below i'll try my best to answer them and help you actually go through that um i the stock Samsung is nice, but uh, so far I think uh, the Lineage one is more lightweight and um, you can play around with more options and stuff. And everything still works, fingerprint works, everything works. So uh, I've, run, I've used it for a few days, uh, not a few days, I actually use it for like a few months and it's working fine. So I guess um, things are good. So uh, do leave a comment down below for any other questions that you have and I'll see you again soon. Bye!